Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Oh, uh, well, cast time once again, and this time I'm kind of doing this a little bit early. Just, I've been, uh, been pretty much, been, pretty much been feeling like shit all last night and this morning. So I didn't really do a whole lot, and it looks like, uh, probably, probably shortly after I get this cast taken care of, I'm probably gonna have to lay down for yet another nap. Um, probably gonna be number, number four for me. So it's just... Uh, it's just been on and on and off. So, but anyway, let me uh, let me intro the music here real quick. This is gonna be Dark Soul, Hollow Lands. Um, I think this this just came out yesterday. So let me uh rewind it back here. Now hopefully this won't be too loud. So, but anyway, like I've been saying, um, this is pretty. This has pretty much been a pretty lazy day for me. It just, you know, again, um, this is this is probably gonna be my fourth nap that I'm gonna take. I just been having it all the time trying to stay awake. Um, I don't, I don't know what caused it this time, but. But, uh, I guess, um, one thing I did do, um, actually I did, did a fair amount of was, uh, Gems of War, did the usual on that, um, and also, I decided to go ahead and play a whole bunch of other games as well. Just didn't really spend a whole lot of time on any of them. Just, just whatever I gotta do to, whatever I gotta do to keep from having to lay down for yet another nap. I'm having a... I'm having to fight my body, wanting to sleep all night. Cause uh, uh it kind of happened yesterday, because I took so many naps, I really didn't get a whole lot of a lot of actual sleep. Cause, cause of all the naps I took, but it's looking like it's heading that way now. So. But, uh, what, uh, and, uh, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Um, one, one definite thing I got was, uh, was a Jessica Wildfire argue, article. Like, we'd, we'd all be better, better off chilling out and taking more naps. Well, no problems there. But, uh, I don't, I don't want to go into too much gross detail or anything like that on this article, but, Yeah. Pretty much your careers are there. That don't surprise me. They're not lazy or anything like that. It's just too tired from walking from having to walk everywhere. You know, they don't have they don't even have money for bus fare, that kind of thing. So uh, Yeah, yeah, here it was. The streets wear you out. can't rush him. You, man, what the hell? You can't rush him. You can't make him do anything else until they recover. Yeah, definitely been there. I, mean, I wish Medium would stop doing this. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm like that. I mean, you know, Years of my job, I mean, it's kind of taking its toll on my body. I can't move around as much. You know, I can't get the work done as quickly as I used to. I mean, especially now with uh, or with my lower back, which has always been a problem. And then um, both of my shoulders now are are, uh, are on the fritz, especially my left one. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, everybody I work with is exhausted. I mean, even if I even if I take a vacation, I still come. You know, 
I'll still, all it takes is maybe like a day or so and I'm already back, I'm back into exhaustion mode. Most of my co-workers are like this too. It's like we've all been in the we've been inside we've been in the washing machine for so many years. It's just I'm you know, just all wet and wadded up. But like like I said, I'm only I'm only really doing this now. So um so this this doesn't become like a, a two minute cast. But this, this really was a pretty cool article. Totally relatable. Tired of constant political spin. Yeah. The only, I mean, as far as politics go, the only, my only, the only rule of knowledge, the only rule of, the closest I get to politics is reading articles like this by uh, Jessica Wildfire. Yeah. I did see um, um, Bill Maher did a did a new role on this. They're kind of poking fun at uh, at Joe Biden for like falling asleep during like the uh, climate change hearings or the climate change summit or whatever it was. Shock that a seventy year old. Fuck. This might be one of the reasons why I hardly ever do commentary on on um, on media articles anymore. That damn little menu that keeps popping up. But yeah, I can't say I blame him. I mean, he, well, for one, he's a freaking old man. You know, he's got a, you know, 78 years of existence under his belt, and he's probably heard the speech before. And I'm not gonna think about it. Totally slipped my mind. I'm not even sure how well you guys can read that. Didn't really know this though. Basically, being a single father to two kids, and then actually uh, being in the public service for so many years, it's like I, like I said a few moments ago here. No surprise that, he, that he's falling asleep during a speech about climate change. He's probably heard it before. He's probably heard it countless times before. I mean, he's been in politics for, politics for many years. Didn't know about this either. His son's a drug addict and he had a... He had to help him, and then he's fighting fascism, too. In fact, now that I think about it, um, there was a Joe Rogan podcast I watched roughly a year ago, and um, he was talking about... Hang on, I gotta, I gotta check the... Yeah, that's a bet on the wild side. Let me turn it down. And then... Let me go to my volume mixer here real quick. No, no, it's still on 20. Okay. Why the hell is it so loud in my hear in my headphones? Okay. That don't happen often. I have to actually turn it down in my uh, headphones. But yeah, he's he basically inherited a mess, and you know. With uh, you know the the climate change being a crisis situation, you know Donald, you know Donald Trump's people storming the Capitol and the aftermath of that, all this other bad stuff. So he's, it, I just said it a few moments ago. He inherited a mess, so he's it falls to him to clean it up or do as much as he can in the four or eight years that he's going to be in office. I mean, yeah, you fall asleep too, and like I said, there is a. There was a Joe Rogan podcast that I watched like roughly a year ago, and they were talking talking about just that. Like, they were showing these uh, pictures of like all these presidents. They'd uh, they get sworn in off, they get sworn in office, and they'd be all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and all that. And then towards the end of their term, 
they're looking all haggard and stuff. They're all ragged. You know, it's you know, and they, they look all exhausted from from you know all the trials and tribulations of being a president. me off. Yeah, Trump wasn't even going to these conferences. In fact, uh, when I watched uh, An Inconvenient Truth, uh, like the, the sequel, like the sequel to Power or something like that, I can't remember the, the title, but yeah, um, Trump, uh, he was going to attend like the uh, Paris uh, Climate Summit or whatever it's called, but he pulled out at the last second. Yippers. Yeah. He's. Yeah, he's. Yeah, Biden's too exhausted from all the stuff they're trying to do. Yep. And, um. Yeah, I have a similar experience with this here, too. Um, one of the bosses I used to work for many years ago was actually one of the coolest, one of the coolest ever. Uh, especially if you were a department head, he would take uh, he would take his quarterly bonus and distribute it amongst all of his uh, department managers. So that was pretty, that was pretty cool. And then um, but uh, he uh, he went he transferred to another store, and he got replaced by a guy who uh, he did away with those uh. He did away with that, but he instead gave them all an extra dollar an hour. So, you know, you know, like, oh, wow, thanks. Yep. But I think, I think here we're, um, we're probably getting a little too deep down the rabbit hole because she uh she'll start she'll start talking about the uh about the tier you know the, the tyranny of the upper class that kind of thing so so let me just move along here Energetic twenty somethings, yeah. Same here. Okay, so yeah, and I think a lot of this here, um, it pretty much went in one eye and out the other. Um, not because uh, not because I, not because she's wrong or anything, but it's because I've read stuff like this before. I get it. So, yeah, she's tired of complacency. Yeah, she's getting, she's getting a little too political, or I should say, a little too political for, for what I want to do on this cast. Like I said, I'm only really doing this because. I don't want this to be a, I don't want, I don't want this to be just like a two or three minute cast, so. And I, I, I gotta put something out there, I mean, it's my night off, so. But, uh, for those that don't know, this is something that I used to do a long time ago. I would do commentary on articles and videos and stuff like that, but after a while, once I've already said my piece, and I just don't really care to repeat myself, I've been doing these less and less. Yeah, but it's like I said before, um, being a president will run you ragged. Okay, so, yeah, I ain't like this. Letting 
blow their toxic dream and race and big evil government? Huh? I ain't like this at all. I mean, if anything, I'm as exhausted as everyone else. It's like I'm working part time, but it's like I'm coming back home. It's like, uh, but it's like I'm coming back even more exhausted than it was when I was working full time. I'm like working three 10 hour shifts. Yeah, I am nothing like this. If anything, I can't stand the arrogant I can't stand their arrogance either. Productivity videos and dream of making a million bucks off a of doggy coin or she would. Yeah, I don't yeah, and I don't touch that um I don't touch Bitcoin. I don't trust it. Hell, I mean hell, with all the games I play, uh Gems of War being one of them, I'm already playing I I mean I'm already playing with enough Bitcoin. So It's just funny money to me. Ah, here we go. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention, too. I think I left off around we're tired of ads and influencers. So the rest of this stuff here, I've never read. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. Okay. One thing, on, one thing uh, that Medium has... Highlighting something is the equivalent of liking it. So. Yes. And again, even, I mean, on a night like last night, like, or on a night slash day like today and the day before, it's like, um, it's like, I'm it's like I keep feeding for a nap. I'm getting in too many. So it's kind of like a slippery slope. Too many, too many naps and you won't be able to sleep. Okay, so... Um, what I'm going to go ahead... So what I'm going to go ahead and do... Is... Hang on just a second. Okay, so what I'll go ahead and do is I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. So, like I said, like I said, the the meat of this the meat of this cast was just um just talking about my slobbing and napping and and some of the games that I played, and some of the games that I played last night, which makes for a very short cast. And again, I only threw in that article just to get something in there, you know. And I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, that was it. I want to get I want to get this in here while I still can. So but So yeah, but like I said, I'll just go ahead and kill it here. Um uh, but otherwise, just thanks for tuning in and listening to me though, everybody. I appreciate that. And um I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning, uh hopefully with some more content, but but until then, thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.